going on guys this is the diagnosis video that I was talking about we're going to show you how to diagnose your ignition coil ICM and I'm roughly going to quickly go over checking to see if it's not a fuel problem for you um, that fuel problem the fuel diagnosis is basically going to be pretty quick it's pretty self-explanatory um, but for right now we're going to start with your distributor and your ignition system um, I think I'm going to put a link in the description to the pictures from the Haynes manual that I have uh, on how to actually fully diagnose and test from the ECM to the ICM or the ECU however, or how everybody calls it to the ICM itself so you'll go through all these wires too but I've already done all that so it's I know this is good um, but like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can download those pictures, and it will give you an exact way, in detail, what every reading should be, where you should, what wires you should connect to, you know, with your meter to get whatever readings you need to, you know, continuity, ohms, volts, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It'll give it to you. So, for right now, with Honda coils and this, they should be between with your coils from your secondary to your primary this is where all of your power comes out of your coil it goes to your cap your rotor gives your spark plugs the power that it needs well my problem was my coils are within spec but the coils inside were, are so degraded that it won't push enough power out of the main here to distribute enough power through the through the cap into the wires into the, into the spark plug so I was getting no spark whatsoever so the first thing you do is you want to take everything apart if you you need to watch the other video to learn how to do that uh, take you want to measure between your positive and your negative on the coil positive and negative now set your meter to ohms Set your meter to the ohms right there and you want to measure from here the positive to the negative on the coil now you'll see there this should be in between 0.6 and 0.8 ohms i'm getting 0 0.5 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 is good so i'm like okay well that's that's weird if that's good then let's try this go from your negative to your spring on the actual coil itself and look at the meter it should be between 12.2 and 19.8 thousand ohms of resistance if you see there I'm at 13.32 K ohms so by any means this would look to any any normal person this would look okay this is good this is this is a good coil so now what well don't always go by if these are in spec and these connections are in spec don't ever think that this is good that this is not the reason don't don't do not rule this out because this is my old ignition coil and this is actually bad this is my new one I put this baby in and it fired she fired right up strongest startup I've ever had in this car so like I said but this this is within spec it's just the coils inside over time have degraded so bad that it can't push enough power out of your main here. So, you've looked at it, you've measured it, it looks okay, but you're still not sure. You're like, okay, well this is fine. So now we're going to go here to your ICM or your igniter. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quickly connect these back up. Once again, make sure you don't drop these screws or strip them out. Because somebody at Honda, if you need to replace them, is going to be like, I don't know what that is. I just work here, dude. So, with that connected, you're going to need a test light. And you're going to need a buddy. 
You're gonna need just I I spent twenty bucks at O'Reilly's for this. Just it's got your power and your ground lights. So right now, whenever you want to test this. Now we're gonna be testing the to see if the igniter or the ICM, the ignition control module, is actually sending a signal to the coil itself. If it is, but yet your coil is reading, you know, within spec, we're gonna suggest that it's the coil. And also, we're gonna check for spark. So with this connected, we're gonna connect the battery cable, and then I'm gonna grab the phone from my little brother here, and we're going to, I'm gonna have him get inside and try to crank it. So with this, with the test light, you're going to want to put your positive from the test light on the positive of the battery. So then you'll see, if you want to put that on the positive, so then you've got your test light here. Hold on, don't do anything yet. And you want to put it on the negative of the <clears throat> ignition coil. Now you'll see here, you'll see a green light. That means there is power to the ignition coil. Uh, go ahead and, and uh, crank it over. If this is good, this if this is getting power to the coil, if the ICM, this light will blink when he tries to crank it over. Go ahead. You see that? The light blinked. Okay, so now we know that the ICM down here is sending power to the coil itself so the coil is getting power but it's not coming out now we'll check something else real quick now in order to check for spark I've found that handy little tool at O'Reilly's it's actually pretty good there you go you can take that it's one of these basically you, you can leave your spark plug in in the in the car and you can adjust the gap, but so basically you plug this into your wire, put this to ground, and if you have spark, if you if your ignition coil is putting power to your spark plug, then you'll see this jump the gap. But in my case, as you'll see here in just a second, all right, I'll be right back, guys, because I got to put the distributor back together. All right, got the distributor back together, and my old coil is still in here. So I've got it set up now with my with my little tool. Um, like I said before, this will show if I'm getting spark because you'll see spark jump across that gap there. All right, go ahead and give it a quick crank. You know, like about three seconds. Longer. See, no spark. So, the actual ICM is sending power to the ignition coil, but there's no spark after the ignition coil. So that leads me to believe that there's only one thing in between the ICM and the spark plugs, and that's the ignition coil. So, with that, I would go ahead and replace the ignition coil itself, as I have done. Um, if you don't know how to do that, like I said, go ahead and watch my other video, uh, the do-it-yourself ignition coil replacement, um, and that should guide you through it.